limit n tends to infinity 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 and so on 2n minus 1 minus 2n so there are 2n terms are there divided by root over n square plus 1 plus root over n square minus 1 so we can write this numerator as 1 minus 2 3 minus 4 5 minus 6 and so on 2n minus 1 minus 2n separated by taking two consecutive numbers and divided by root over n square plus 1 so we can take n square common so 1 plus 1 upon n square the root over and again plus root over n square taken common 1 minus 1 upon n square So you can write here 1 minus 2 it's a negative 1 and again 1 minus 3 minus 4 it's a negative 1 5 minus 6 it's a negative 1 and so on 2n minus 1 minus 2n is again negative 1 so divided by root over n square will be n root of 1 plus 1 by n square and again root over n square is n times root over 1 minus 1 by n square so negative 1 is there are since there are total 2n terms so negative 1 is getting half of them so we will be getting n times so you can write limit n tends to infinity minus 1 is taken n times half of 2n that is n times divided by n can be taken common so root over 1 plus 1 upon n square plus root over 1 minus 1 upon n square so n and n get cancelled and we can write here limit n tends to infinity minus 1 upon root over 1 plus 1 upon n square plus root over 1 minus 1 by n square as we know that limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n is 0 or even 1 upon n power some constant some integer power integral power also zero so we can add minus one divided by root over one plus one upon n square value will be zero plus root over one minus zero so that is minus one upon root one plus root one that is minus one plus one plus one that is two so we can go with an option negative one by two option b is the answer